Welcome to Canada Travels, Texas. Oh, it is now winter. Like I said, I'm keeping this the, the um, scruff here. I'm, I'm trimming it, but uh, it's been out about maybe seven days since I've shaved. But uh, it sometimes helps, you know, as the weather gets colder to not have to scrape your face every day. So, um, yeah, once again, reminder, winter time red meat eat red meat and there is a lot of evidence that shows that when people don't eat meat they will get a little bit more clumsy more accident prone look our bodies are made out of protein and fats our brains are made out of fat so that is a, an excellent uh, reminder for all of you all um, especially when it gets cold all right so uh another tip we can do is um and i haven't gone ab about telling you all this but we can actually uh you know get a glass of good water i would purify it yourself and then just put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it like a tablespoon and it's a nice little beverage you can you can actually drink that during your fasting period so i haven't I haven't uh, eaten actually for, I had a partial fast for 48 hours because there was a little bit of congestion from the winter and so I just drank water, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, I mean some of your supplements, you know, you could probably do it if you space it within an hour but definitely no food so I feel fantastic, all right. Um, I wouldn't recommend going more than three days without food, um, without a meal. Um, if you do more than three days, definitely do it with a uh, your healthcare professional. So uh, yeah, it is winter. I know. Look, see, it's sunny. Kind of, but it's really cold. So uh, you know, we're gonna go to if we can make it to the Houston Zoo and walk around a little bit. And I'm gonna show you all like what the animals look the inside like, right? of my uh, my cap. Don't tread on me, cap. Made in the U. Yes. Hey. Eagle Crest. There it is. We've had this for a while. It's cold. So Allison, yeah. are we gonna try to make it to the zoo? Uh, we gotta leave by 4.30 at the very uh, latest. Okay, so it'll give us a couple, like an hour or so. Yeah, we'll try. All right, so let's head out. Scruff. Yeah, so it's been how many days since I've shaved? Seven? Yeah, I like think. Like a week. Yeah, if I don't mess with it in a month, it'll be all the way out here. But uh, yeah, it's it looks sunny out there, but it's actually quite cold, right? It's uh. It's it's going to get colder tonight. It's not, it's not that cold. Nah. Hey, I just said it was cold. It's cold. Okay. See, because Allison's from Los Angeles, okay, and being from Los Angeles, it's frigid. Okay, people don't know this, but Los Angeles gets really, really cold because there's no humidity. It's in the middle of the desert. So it gets really, really cold. So she's like used to being very cold, like a Russian person. Okay, so this is nothing to her, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to head left here, but I'm going to have to U-turn. And let's see if we really will get there at 140. I don't think so because we stop at Kathy's. We'll probably get there at 2, I'm thinking 2.30. That'll give us like an hour to two hours to hang out at the zoo, okay? So we'll see what the animals are like at, as, uh-oh, she's got sniffles too, uh, ACV. So we'll see what the animals are like this time of year. Now, this time of year there's zoo lights. Now, check out the episode we had on the, the Houston Zoo lights. We're not gonna be doing that today because y'all saw that already. But we haven't been to the zoo in the winter, so it'll be interesting to see how the which animals are out, how they're behaving, and such. Okay. Uh, where are we? That's the Austin skyline in front of us. I gotta turn around and go the opposite direction toward Houston. And there's Napa Auto Parts. Woohoo! And who's that? Who's that mural of? Is that me? <laughs> Maybe, huh? Nah, it's. Well, it's me. It's me. No, it's it's supposed to be James Dean playing his role in Giant. I don't know if it looks like him. 
All right, let's head out. At the Houston Zoo in the winter. Wow, look. I think everybody else had the idea. Look at these, these, these magpies, these little blackbirds here. All these kids are just feeding them. Isn't that cool? These kids are just feeding them. Wow, there's so many kids here. In the zoo yet. But look, the vegetation in the winter here in Houston is still green. And look, that's a little train track for the zoo. They have a little train that goes around the zoo, I think. No, yeah. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Tactical tip, always wrestle the snake. Don't let it go around your neck. Ah, like that, you gotta pull it out. So winter here at the Houston Zoo, or at Herman Park, here's a Houston snowman made out of air and fabric. And then, look, you got trains, you got candy canes. Here's another evergreen here in Houston. It's made out of, once again, fabric and air. Finally inside the Houston Zoo. Oh wow. So this is like the eating area. And it's actually quite busy today. So many people here today. Because it's winter and it's winter. Wow, look at all these people. We'll go look at some animals. All right. Our first animal for today, for winter here at the Houston Zoo, is a blue-throated macaw. As you can see, they're freezing. Look at the sun lamps behind them. Those sun lamps aren't there during the summertime. These are warm-blooded from where? They are from South America. So therefore, they've got the lamps. And the three, look at these three guys, the three. They're just hanging by the lamps. They're not even moving. They're not even moving. <laughs> All right. Winter time at the Houston. It's dark here, right? Not really. All right, so we are here at Allison's native. She's a Texan now, of course, but this is her, her sea lions. Now, these guys are not going to be cold because they're from a cold area so they're doing okay and so we got one of the zookeepers doing feedings right now yay all right look at that and this is just a zoo it's not even sea world it's pretty cool look at that isn't that cool yeah i love the sea lions they're so cute i know it's from northern california i don't really see these guys in southern california do you but not as many. They have seals, but not sea lions. But then he looks totally. Ha she looks happy because it's so cold. It's cold in the daytime in Houston, and so a lot of people are here now. And I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, we're recovering from, you know, we're recovering from Hurricane Harvey. Recovering from Hurricane Harvey. Here we go. Cool. There it is. This is the sea lion's cold habitat. What is that? This is in the daytime, in the winter, during the day when it's not zoo lights. So at night, this lights up. So you can check out our episode from a few years ago, the Houston Zoo Lights. See, that's the sign for it. So right now it's regular zoo time and you can kind of see the zoo light statues without the lights on. And this, you saw in the last episode, this is what the Houston Dynamo mascot looks like in the daytime without all these lights. But at night you're gonna see all these little lights light up. There you go. Winter time at the zoo. Peace and love. Yeah, love and peace. Houston Zoo in the what to a giraffe when it's cold. Look at his lips. It looks like he's whole. Allison, look. 
looks like he's cold. Uh -huh. His lips are just moving. Wow. Hello. You cold? Do you need some chapsticks? <laughs> Looking at, you need some chapsticks, I think. Wow. Okay. All right. We'll get you some chapsticks. Little baby. Oh, look at that baby coming to you right there, hopping around. That, I don't know if that one's a baby. They're all babies. Look at how big the adults are. The adults are in the background, see? Those are big. They move slower. The babies move around faster. They're getting People their food. Are feeding. People are feeding them in that corner, you see? Watch our last episode where we feed the uh, giraffes. Check it out. The it's first few the rhinos. They look a little bit more like slow. They're not moving around as much as in the summertime. Because I guess they're from Africa, as I heard a little boy say. Rhinos are from Africa. So it must be uh, cold. Okay, here are the chimpanzees. And I guess they look like they're like huddling together because it, it's a little colder than what they're used to. They're not bouncing around us. That's a pan hooting. Okay, here's a scream. Scream. Oh. There it is. That's a scream. Let's hear them laugh. Ready? Laugh. They don't want to laugh. They're not going to laugh. Boo food bark? Nothing. Oh, that's a grunt. That's grunting. Do you hear that? I hear the siren. That's a whimpering. Whimpering. Okay, that's it. All right. That's it. Okay, we're indoors now at the indoor observation area of this silverback male gorilla. Wow. He's just showing his butt. I'm going to say, turn around. Here he comes. Here he comes. Hey, Silverback, look at him. Oh. Look at him. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh. Oh. Wow. Look at how close we are. Look at how close we are to him. Wow. Look at all the kids. <laughs> Allison, Allison, come here, look. Oh. He's picking his nose. Yeah. <laughs> Is he? You can see here at the Houston Zoo in the winter time, it's really popular time. And as you can see, the silverback male gorilla was picking his nose in front of the children. Chances are because it's colder. So his uh, nose needs to be outside now. And here is the female gorilla down there outside. The male gorilla is resting. He usually comes out at night. But yeah, just like the other animals, she's like a lot less active. Maybe because it's time. Here's some feral hogs. Hello. Deck the halls with paws of Dolly. La 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 la. Whoa! Allison said the tree's nice, so I'm filming the tree and not her. These presents look like pieces of glass. Oh, they are pieces of glass. All right. Yeah. Daytime winter at the Houston Zoo. Woo! Butterflies. Oh my gosh. When's the last time you saw an aardvark? Oh, wow. Aardvark. Aardvark at the Houston Zoo in the winter. Wow. Here's another, okay, I don't know what this is. His rear end is sitting in the dirt in the winter. Here at bachelor pad for this guy. Oh, wow. He's like turning away. He was drinking water earlier. No. Now he's eating. Look at that, look at that. Look at that trunk. 
Bachelor pad man is going away. Oh well. Look at this pool he swims in. Wow, he like this has an entire pool to swim in. It's too cold. It's winter at the Houston Zoo. A companion for the elephant staff. Looks a little like a bear. It looks a little bit like Bella the movie dog. Check out our Bella the movie. This is the non bachelor pad area where the ladies run run free. I don't know if you can see all these ladies here all right so these are the non bachelor pad uh the elephant staff here at the houston zoo thanks for joining us at the houston zoo in the winter <laughs> winter at the houston zoo Timon, it's Pumba. Yeah, Timon, it's it's Pumba. Come here, come here, come here. Arr, arr.